And hello. It's getting nice outside, and Chloe and I are going to go squirrel hunting. But I thought you might like to see this little thing I'm playing with. I got this mill working where it's cutting a little bit, and it's really quite interesting. And uh, I'll show you what I got going first with this thing. Okay, still working on it. And I've uh, isolated... Uh, the uh, totally isolated this uh, electrical compartment. It, it's got fluid on it that uh, voltage won't go through. So I got to fix that. And what I'm starting the mill with is uh, with this bulldog switch here. Okay. So I'm going to start it up. Well, first I'll kind of explain things. Now let's get back over here. Now this head, as in earlier videos, um, only has nine inches of clearance when it's in the vertical position. Um, so it can be used in a horizontal position like that. So I'm going to make a couple of cuts on this uh, block of aluminum and, uh, and you can see it cut. 80 year old machine making a couple of cuts. Okay. I'll get it hooked up right here. Hold on. See if I can get your front row seat on the action. Running the machine more and more. It's getting a little more quiet. Okay. Put a little, uh, little bit of that. Uh, this is a beeswax uh, mixed with castrol, uh, molly D, and whatever tapping fluids <laughs> I might have around. And mixed up into a grease. You know, people ask about it, and it makes your cutting fluids go go further. And uh, let's take uh, let's take about oh, fifty thousand. So I don't think it'll pull it out of that boy. So maybe more. Okay, I'm going to start it up with the bulldog switch. Oh yeah. Well, it does cut metal, and it, the finish is not too bad here. I'm going to have to make a few adjustments. I think the spindle bearings need just a little bit of adjustment, but I don't have that, the head uh, tramped in exactly. I just used a square and did it quick. So, a lot of experimentation to do on this thing, but most of it uh, with this head is going to be with this head in a, in a horizontal position. Now, all I need this... Uh, this mill four is to rough out pieces like this, and then they go over there to that jig boring machine. And uh, you can put an excellent finish, and I'll demonstrate that as we uh, go along uh, with the jig boring machine uh, using a fly cutter. Uh, the, the more jig board does an outstanding job using a fly cutter. So, 
You can rough out a piece of aluminum here or steel, take it over there and finish it. Like you can do a fly cut across the surface and then bore a hole in it and the hole is square to that surface. So, oh, this is a roughing machine and that one over there is a finishing machine. So that's kind of the system. It's an old system. You know, if you're going to do precision work on the, on the jig board, you don't block out the material. Use a machine like this to rough it out. You take it over there and finish it. And that's a good idea to do on any precision machines. I do it on the Monarch 10 EEs. And like I use that older one there to uh, rough out uh, parts for the newer one. It'll make an appearance. I didn't want to throw those nasty chips on it. Okay, well I got a bunch of stuff to do and a bunch of stuff to show as I do it, and I will be back. Thanks for uh, looking in. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Thanks for looking in, and goodbye for a little bit. We're going squirrel hunting.